Can you imagine yourself being guarded by a lot of people on a daily basis? Not the guarded by a fire-breathing dragon kind of story, but one that's based on reality. If you can't, then there are a few people with a heavy security who can show you the life of being protected and guarded. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the most heavily guarded people in the world that you should know about. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications of our videos. We all know that the bestest can serve you a platter filled with everything you have yet to find out. Almost everyone knows that there are important people all over the world. Each country has their own VIP that comes with a lot of security details. But having a full-fledged security personnel isn't just limited to politicians. Even celebrities, businessmen, and owners of various companies within the private sector also make sure they get their own protection. There are a few of these people we should be highlighting. After all, wouldn't you want to know who among these people have heavy-duty guards available 24-7? In this episode, the bestest will highlight some of the most heavily guarded people in the world. And you're sure to be excited. At number one, we have Kim Jong-un. The whole world knows just how fascinating North Korean supreme leader's protection is. We all are familiar with how his security detail will even run alongside his armored limousine during one of his visits to Singapore. Well, Kim Jong-un cannot just easily go about his day when all he could think about are assassination attempts and competition from within his own circle of power. But his own personal secret service isn't just a cherry on top its own sweet parfait. He also has his own 100,000-man army with a command structure that reports directly to him. Surely, you wouldn't want to mess with the Supreme Leader. This unit is known as the Supreme Guard Command. The tricky part is knowing who is part of this unit since they can easily blend into the background and disappear. It could be what we call an approach with caution. Aside from being a unit that serves and protects their leader, the Supreme Guard Command is also a propaganda tool. The Supreme Leader is trying to relay the idea of his supposed near-sacred importance by saying that he is untouchable, but not from the inside. I don't need my father! I am strong! <laughs> <laughs> Which is why he is actually attempting to protect his herbal resume from inside sabotage. The question is, are there even people who'd even attempt to graze Kim Jong-un? Well, isn't that interesting? It might be unbelievable, but there are a lot of people who would want to be as protected as the North Korean Supreme Leader. We're just getting started. Now, we are about to find out more people who are heavily guarded. So stay until the end of this episode. Sit back, relax, and let's move on to what's next on our list. At number two, we have Queen Elizabeth II. With her remarkable career thus far, she's the first United Kingdom monarch to celebrate a Sapphire Jubilee. Despite her age, she has marked her 65-year reign in 2017. She is two years away from becoming the first United Kingdom monarch to celebrate a platinum jubilee. Queen Elizabeth II has her own infantry and cavalry guard called the Royal Guard who has been protecting her for a very long time. You're surely familiar with the cavalry that stands guard at the royal residences. She also has foot guards, who patrol the parameters of the same residence. These are the soldiers that wear the red tunics and those tall bearskin hats throughout the years. Even Marines are FA agents and Navy fleets have mounted to the Queen's Guard. But these depend on the task or the royal family's method of travel. Although they have postings at the Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle, the Bank of Packet, and even the Tower of London, just to name a few. We will never surely know how much the Queen spends on her security detail, but we can only imagine how expensive it is. 
Some have speculated the cost to reach around 100 million British pounds a year back in 2010. This amount gives the 21 members of the royal family 24-7 security. At number 3, we have Pope Francis. Everyone knows that the Pope is both the Bishop of Rome and ex-official leader of the world. Pope Francis is just like the president of the country, but he is also the head of Catholic Church, so it's no wonder why he would need utmost protection. He even resides in probably one of the more heavily armored cities in the world, Vatican City, a city-state located in Rome, Italy. You can even see all the stoic guards dressed in antiquated armor carrying equally dated spears when walking through the streets of Vatican. Pope Francis is protected by spears, but these armored guards are actually a high-end military force made up of top former Swiss soldiers. These guards can easily subdue any kind of threat within a few seconds. But the spears are not the only things they have. These former Swiss soldiers also have the finest collection of firearms hidden away in case need arises. The Swiss Guard is over 500 years old, which makes it the longest standing military in the world. It was officially founded by Pope Julius II in 1506. Originally, the guards were actually a mercenary force. The information is still renowned to this day since it marks some of the most decisive victories during the skirmishes that were taking place in and around Rome. Getting to know these figures and their security detail is surely both overwhelming and intimidating. But it's great to know that there is a lot of attention being placed on the protection of these people and we know the reason why. However, we're just halfway through this episode. So make sure to stay with us until the end of this episode. Up next is also something we all have expected. At number 4, we have Donald Trump. Being an American real estate heir and the current president of the United States with an estimated worth of $3.1 billion, of course, Donald Trump needs all the security he can get. The US president's intense security detail also comes at a steep budget. Former President Barack Obama and his family had a security detail that costs around $16 million a year. But Donald Trump managed to make that reach an even higher level of $29 million every year, just within 10 weeks of him being in office. Well, we can blame him after all the controversies. This resulted in the U.S. Congress passing a federal budget plan that shelled out an unbelievable $120 million for an entire year of security for President Trump and his family. This highly expensive cost wouldn't even be entirely necessary if and only if the current president and his immediate family has chosen to live within the White House and its protective perimeter. Even celebrities can be targeted by fans or rivals. That's why Beyonce and Jay-Z also take their security and protection seriously. They're the world's heavily guarded celebrity couple. Mark Zuckerberg was even seen jogging with his security detail. You can only imagine the kinds of paranoia and anxiety that comes with a famous name. And now we're almost at the end of this episode. The last one will surely interest you. At number 5, we have Vladimir Putin. And like other political figures in Russia, he is protected by the Federal Protective Service. However, there are a few differences with Putin's people since it seems to be an entirely different bundle altogether. Little to none is known about the workings of Putin's arm in the Federal Protective Service. No public data about its operations are available and no public reports have also been made. That just goes to show how secretive it is. Only assumptions can be made about what they do. Vladimir himself is a controversial figure that has been the center of media attention ever since his first acting presidency. It was even noticed that the man had started growing a sort of personality cult around him similar to some previous leaders. Although there aren't any giant statues of him being put up, he has become an internet icon in his own right. 
This has surely kept him within the realm of the public, and it comes with its own prices, and that just proves the need for a security detail that's as intense as the one he currently has. Vladimir's populist view is extremely polarized due to the political and financial corruption of his cabinet. It has resulted in countless protests, threats, and assassination attempts that's made it necessary for Putin to ramp up security in his own unique way. And we've seen photos and videos of how he managed to ramp this up. The world has a lot of amazing leaders and people that continue to try and make the world we live in a better place. It's only natural that these people deserve a security detail that suits them best and how their security detail somehow matches and complements their personality is one of the things that make this even more interesting. Managing a country is not an easy task, so at least providing them with protection is a way for us to help them. However, we do hope it gets easier on the wallet the next time. Larry, what the hell are you doing? Oh, Larry! Larry, you can't just... Oh, Larry! Oh, are you all right? How did you... So, who is the heavily guarded person that interested you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.